What's going on everyone? It's King Tuts Pro and welcome back to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. Thank you so much for stopping by to watch another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create this really cool kind of uh, animated letter title for your music videos or for your vlogs or for your cinematic videos. Whatever the case may be, this is a really cool trick. Not really a trick, but a really cool effect that you guys can apply. All right, so before I do begin, this video is sponsored by Pixel Film Studios, so a big special thanks to Pixel Film Studios. Now the plugin that we're gonna be using is going to be the Final Cut Pro 10 Animation Mega Pack, as well as the um, Pro Animation and Pro Animation 2 pack that it comes with. And you don't have to create any keyframes at all. Also be sure to use my coupon code, King Pixel Pro for a nice discount. So, so if you go to the project properties over there and you go into the cutout letters, this is what it's going to look like. It's a JPEG. So all you got to do is drag this directly onto your clip. So I'm going to trim this and delete the remaining end. We don't need that. Now what I'm, go what I'm going to do is you can either get rid of the white background by adding a keyer or adding a luma keyer. So if you go into the effects and you go down to keying and you go to luma keyer and you drag that onto that clip, you will now have the Luma Keyer. It's very simple. All you gotta do is drag the black end all the way to the right or leave it how it is and then move the white over to the left. So I want it just to move it just enough to get rid of the white background, but not a lot to, to the point where it's removing the color fill. So right there is perfect. So now what you gotta do is mask out the letters that you wanna use. So if you're using short names or short letters or short words, then this is going to be beneficial for you. So I'm just going to use the word low ski. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into the effects, I'm gonna go into the masks, I'm gonna go to draw mask and drag that onto that clip. Now what you wanna do is zoom in to about 100%. So I'm going to find the L, so I'm going to go to L, I'm gonna find one of these, I'm gonna click and make one point selection, I'm just clicking once, and this will mask everything else except what I've made my on my selection. So now I can go back to fit, and now we can go onto this one here. So we have the draw mask, scroll down. And what you wanna do is increase the scale. So increase the scale there. And don't move it like this because this is actually moving the actual mask. So what you wanna do is go into the transform button here and then move this to where you want the uh, where you want to position this. So I'm gonna click done. I'm gonna increase the scale a little bit more. Go back to the transform tool and leave it how it is. Great, now I'm gonna make an, uh, another copy. So hold option and drag upwards. Select the top clip, which is the copied clip. And now what we want to do is go into the draw mask and we can go ahead and reset that. And we're going to reset the transform tool right here so we can see the full letters. And now we just go for uh, word by word. So we have low ski. So we're now going to find the O. I think I'm going to use this one. So click once and to make your selection. Perfect. So now you got to do is go into the compositing or into the transform, scale this a little bit to whatever you want the size to be. And I'm gonna make this a little bit smaller. And same thing, so hold option, drag it again, select the new clip, the very top clip, scroll down, go next to transform and hit the reset button. And now what you wanna do is go into the draw mask and reset that one as well. Perfect, so now you just go on to the next word. All right, so once you have all of your words masked out to each individual letters to form a word, which is I've already done, so here is going to be the first one, and that's going to be the L, and then we're gonna have the next one, it's gonna be O, S, K, and I. So each, each clip has its own word, of course. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna right click, on the first one was gonna be the, the letter a, uh, L, and we're gonna click on new compounds clip, and we're gonna type in L and press OK. And the reason we have to do a compound clip is in order to actually reverse the clip, and I'll show you why we're gonna do that. Uh, but for right now, we're gonna create a new compound clip for each of the clips or each of the letters. So I'm gonna type in O, and I'm gonna do the same thing for this one, that's going to be S, and this one's going to be K, and then the, the very top uh, letter should be the last letter, which is going to be I, and perfect. So now they act as an, as an actual video clip. So once we're at this point, what we can do is we can select all of the clips now, which I've done here, right click and go to new compounds clip to group all of the clips together now. And I'm gonna name this title, title new, enter. So now this is one full clip. So we, now we can do whatever we want with this. So we can move this whole entire clip without moving each individual ones, which is would be an absolute nightmare. So go ahead and move that to where you want it to look, uh, where you want it to be placed and I'm gonna move it right in the middle. I'm gonna click on done and I'm actually gonna move it a little bit to the left. There we go, I'll click done. Now what we're gonna do is add the actual effects. So if we go on to 
uh, the effects over here and I'm going to the Pixel Films Animation Mega Pack plugin. You're going to have, if I move this to the left, you're going to have hundreds upon hundreds of variations of different types of animated movements. So you can apply this to any type of media or text and it looks amazing. So what you want to do is open up the compounds clip that we just created. So what you want to do for this specific effect that I'm going to show you is you want to go into the effects here and go to where it says through. So we want to scroll through here and you're going to see that these are labeled with through and that means that it's going to it's going to play through the animation and then come back again so it kind of loops it's pretty much the loop animation and that's what you want to do so use these so i'm going to drag this one onto that first clip and now if i push play it looks like this kind of clean very simple and no keyframes at all are needed for this so this saves you so so much time and it looks a lot better too so once you're at this point you're going to have a new little window in the inspector window over here or a new tab where you can change all of the controls and settings for this specific effect. Each of the each of the effects are going to be, you know, they're going to have their own little uh, effects or controls. So we have the animation controls. So we have animation selection. If we select that, you can change the type of animation. You can have the uh, it, this mainly controls the speed, so you can do like circle ease in, and this will ease in a little differently. Um, or come in to the uh, to the clip a little differently. So you can do circle ease in and out like that very very smooth you can do decelerate so if i push play it looks like that kind of kind of neat you can also flip the animation so you can have it play in reverse or flip flipping the animation you have animation strength percent so you can increase the percentage this will make it a lot faster so if you drag it to the left this will slow down the animation as you can see and if we drag it all the way to the right it makes it go a lot faster. So I only recommend adding one effect to the clip for this specific effect. However, you can add or overlay a bunch of these. I would recommend using the titles for that since you can control them a lot easier. But with the effects, you can do the same. You can overlay a lot of the uh, of these effects if you wanted to. Personally, I am not going to do that for this specific effect, but you can. So you now have the motion blur and you can disable this or enable it. If you have it disabled, it looks like this. Still kind of neat. I think the motion blur adds a lot more of of um, it makes it look a lot more dynamic and a lot more interesting. So I'm going to have the motion blur turned on and we have the blur amount so you can increase the blurriness so you can have it look like it's going a lot faster. All you really got to do is just find the ones that you want to add. So we have uh, position X plus rotation XZ through and you have you can scroll through through these and it's really neat because you can have the little preview window to see what each one will do. So if we drag this one onto the O letter O, it looks like this. Really, really cool. So I'm going to delete that one. I want something a little more dynamic like this one. Perfect. So now if I push play, it looks like that. We're going to go for the letter S. So we're going to drag this one there. So it looks like this kind of neat. And now we're going to go for a letter K. Let's see what else there is. I like that one. Push play. Looks like that. And then finally, the letter I, we can go through. You can also do these as well. But I think for the to make it look like it's all in one effect, we want to make sure that we have it for through for this example. And now if I push play, it looks like this. All right. So once it's rendered out, it's going to look like this. So if I push play, it looks like that and it looks super clean. And then, of course, your video would continue like this. So if I push play. It looks like that. Really, really cool, especially with this little freeze frame animation. Very nice. I also made a tutorial on that. If you want to watch it, link in the description. Now you can reverse the clip. So instead of it going out, we can have it play in reverse. And that's the reason we created this as a compounds clip. So now we can click on this little timer option and go to the reverse clip. So now it's going to play in reverse. Perfect. So now if I go back and push play, it's going to look like this. And it looks a lot more interesting in my opinion. Um, but if you don't like the way it looks, just press Command Z and it'll look like this as well. So you can create different types of animations. Now, if we go into the titles and generators and we go into the packs over here, the plugins that we've installed, we have the Mega Pack, which contains pretty much all of them here, but in title form. So what you want to do with the titles is you would select one and you would drag it above your media. And whatever you apply on top of your media, it's going to animate. And this is without it rendering. So it will just kind of animate with the uh, applied effect or title that you want it to do and you can also click on the preview mode and this will depend on what kind of effects or title you applied 
So you can go into animation type and this just shows you what's going on here. So if we select animate out, this will change it. So we can do animate in. You can change the animation strength. So I'm gonna turn the preview mode off for now and we can change the speed of this or make it really slow. So if I were to go back and push play, it's going to look like this. Kind of cool, a different, a diff definitely a different look to a music video or video in general. You'd want to apply this to really like shapes and stuff like this. You know, it, it looks a lot more interesting when you apply it like that instead of the actual video clip. All of these are very similar. They, they have the same exact settings and tools for this one here. You have the Pro Animation 2 here. You have Windshield Wipe. We drag that there and push play. It's going to look like this. Um, but again, you, you would usually apply this to individual shapes or objects. So link is going to be in the description if you want to try this plugin out. I'll have it linked down in the description. Please use the coupon code. But yeah, if you guys found this video helpful, please leave a like down below. Subscribe, turn on the bell notification so you don't miss out on a video like this one. And I will catch you guys next time. Peace out.